Have you ever wondered how Roman structures have withstood the test of time, remaining intact for thousands of years? This is a question that has puzzled historians and scientists alike for centuries. Some of the most iconic structures from the ancient Roman Empire, such as the Colosseum and the Pantheon, are still standing today, a testament to the extraordinary resilience of Roman concrete. Roman concrete, or opus caementicium as it was known to the Romans, is a material that has stood the test of millennia. Its durability is nothing short of astounding. Consider the Colosseum for example. This grand amphitheater which once hosted gladiatorial contests, mock sea battles and spectacles of public execution, has weathered the wear and tear of nearly 2,000 years. And yet, it remains largely intact, a silent sentinel bearing witness to the passage of time. Or take the Pantheon, another marvel of Roman architecture built in the 2nd century it boasts the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Despite being exposed to the elements for the past 18 centuries, the Pantheon's dome has not crumbled or collapsed. It's as though time itself bows in reverence to these ancient masterpieces, but what makes Roman concrete so remarkably hardy? What sets it apart from the concrete we use today? The answer lies in its unique composition, a perfect blend of materials that resulted in a building substance far superior to anything we've been able to reproduce. However, the exact formula for Roman concrete was lost to the sands of time. For centuries this ancient recipe remained an elusive mystery, hidden within the very walls of the structures it helped erect. But recent advancements in technology and years of painstaking research have finally allowed us to unravel this age-old secret. So, what's the secret of this incredible millennium-defying material? Stick around and we will unravel this ancient mystery together. To understand the secret of Roman concrete we first need to comprehend what makes up our modern concrete. At its core, modern concrete is a simple mixture. Three key components are involved. Cement, aggregate and water. Let's break down each of these ingredients. First up, cement. This powdery substance acts as the glue holding everything together. It's made primarily from limestone and clay, heated in a kiln to create what we call clinker. This clinker is then ground into the fine powder we recognize as cement. Next, we have the aggregate. This is essentially a fancy term for the filler, the rocks, gravel and sand that give concrete its bulk. The aggregate varies depending on the intended use of the concrete. You might use larger rocks for a foundation, but finer sand for a smooth finish on a patio. The last ingredient is water. When mixed with the cement, it triggers a chemical reaction known as hydration. This process causes the cement to harden and bind the aggregate together, forming a rock-like mass. Voila, you have concrete. But modern concrete, while sturdy and versatile, has its limitations. It's prone to cracking under stress and can deteriorate when exposed to harsh weather conditions. Particularly it struggles against water damage and erosion, making it less than ideal for structures intended to last for centuries. And yet we look back at Roman concrete structures, some over 2,000 years old, still standing strong. They've withstood the test of time, resisting erosion and damage that our modern concrete can't seem to handle. Knowing this it begs the question, how did the Romans create a superior concrete over 2,000 years ago? The answer to the longevity of Roman concrete lies in a surprising secret ingredient. Now, brace yourselves as we dive into the heart of this mystery. The secret ingredient, the magic element that gives Roman concrete its enduring strength and resistance is... Drumroll please. Volcanic ash. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill volcanic ash though, it's a specific type, known as Pozzolana. Found in abundance around the Bay of Naples, Pozzolana played a crucial role in the Romans' construction endeavors. But how does this ash contribute to the strength and durability of the concrete you might ask? Well the answer is as fascinating as it is complex. When the volcanic ash within the Roman concrete comes into contact with seawater, it sets off a chemical reaction. This reaction leads to the formation of an incredibly rare mineral known as tobermorite. Tobermorite, dear listeners, is the unsung hero of this tale. It's this mineral that gives Roman concrete its unique properties, making it stronger and more durable than the concrete we're accustomed to in our modern world. It acts as a kind of super glue, binding the concrete together and making it resistant to the eroding forces of time and tide. And not just resistant, practically impervious. It's this miraculous reaction, this perfect blend of natural resources and chemical processes that makes Roman concrete so exceptional. But this leads us to another question, one that's equally intriguing. How did the Romans, those master builders of antiquity, stumble upon this fantastic recipe? 
The answer to that, my friends, is a tale for another time. But how did the Romans stumble upon this fantastic recipe? The Romans didn't have advanced scientific equipment, so how did they discover the power of volcanic ash in concrete, you might ask? Well, the answer most likely lies in their keen powers of observation and a dash of experimental spirit. The Romans were avid observers of the natural world around them. They noticed that buildings made with volcanic ash were stronger and more resilient. This wasn't a mere coincidence. It was the result of the ash reacting with lime to form a substance known as pozzolana, which significantly enhanced the durability of their structures. Now you might be wondering, how did they make this leap? The answer is simple yet profound. The Romans were not just builders, they were innovators. They didn't merely accept the status quo, they challenged it. They experimented, they innovated, and they discovered. Imagine a Roman builder mixing different materials, trying to find the perfect blend to strengthen his structures. He stumbles upon volcanic ash, mixes it with lime and water, and voila. He discovers a blend that sets faster, lasts longer, and is more resistant to weathering. This is not just a testament to Roman engineering prowess but also to their relentless pursuit of progress. But the discovery of the secret ingredient in Roman concrete was not just a breakthrough in construction technology, it was a revolution. It was a discovery that transformed Roman architecture, enabling them to build grand structures like the Colosseum and the Pantheon, structures that continue to awe us even today. This discovery didn't just change the skyline of Rome, it changed society. It enabled the construction of public buildings and infrastructure, promoting trade, communication, and community life. It was a catalyst for social progress and economic prosperity. The Romans transformed their architectural landscape with this discovery, but it also had a significant impact on their society. From the grandest of temples to the simplest of homes, Roman concrete was the foundation of the society they built. And it all started with a keen eye, a curious mind, and a handful of volcanic ash. The secret of Roman concrete didn't just change Roman architecture, it reshaped Roman society. This is where we begin to comprehend the true magnitude of this remarkable substance. Roman concrete wasn't just a building material, it was the cornerstone of the Roman Empire's infrastructural prowess. It laid the foundation for a vast network of roads, aqueducts, and buildings, the likes of which had never been seen before. With this secret, the Romans had the key to building an empire that was not only physically robust but also structurally interconnected. Imagine, if you will, the bustle of Rome in its prime, the sprawling cityscape peppered with majestic structures, all made possible by Roman concrete. The aqueducts, a marvel of ancient engineering, transported fresh water from distant sources straight into the heart of the city. This not only improved public health but also created a surplus of water, facilitating the operation of mills and public baths. The roads meanwhile were the arteries of the Roman Empire. Constructed with a base layer of Roman concrete, they facilitated trade, military movements, and cultural exchange across vast distances. This network of roads spanning across three continents was pivotal in the Roman Empire's expansion, connecting distant provinces to the heart of the empire. Furthermore, the resilience of Roman concrete also contributed to the longevity of the Roman Empire. The structures that were built using this material stood the test of time, some of them surviving into the modern era. This enduring quality of Roman concrete became a symbol of the empire's strength and permanence. Roman concrete, therefore, was more than just a building material. It was a tool that shaped history, enabling the Romans to construct a civilization that stood strong for centuries. It's a testament to the power of innovation and observation, a tangible reminder of the indomitable human spirit that thrives on progress and invention. The secret of Roman concrete, then, isn't just a tale of an ancient building material, but a story of innovation, observation, and the enduring power of human ingenuity.